joints of staff hasn't been together. How impressed have you been with what they've been done in this short amount of time? I think that, uh, you know, I've said many times, I think that um, they're, they're doing a, a really, really good job of, of working with the pieces that we have. Um, we've got, uh, because of our lack of depth, uh, being able to uh, create some different problems for offenses, um, particularly up front, our front seven, uh, moving around a little bit, and, and um, we've got a, we've had a whole lot of moving parts in the back end too, either from injury, uh, suspension, whatever, whatever, you know, moving those guys around and and uh, not panicking about it and, and being pretty salty with it. So, um, you know, these guys have they've, they've blended together. I think uh, you know it was real important in the hiring process. You know when um, when we hired Mark, uh, we didn't hire one of those coaches, uh, one of the defensive coaches, without um, without Mark talking with them beforehand. And, and so there, you know, there was nobody forced on on him as a coordinator. You know I had guys that uh, obviously. Uh, I wanted him to, to, to look at, and we brought him in. We talked to him on the phone, and, and I think you know when when you hire people that way, they understand their role coming into the into the process. I think uh, he understood, you know, in, in talking with him what he wanted to, and so you know there was never any uh, situation where we just threw people together. Um, everybody understood their role coming in, um, and I think that that made it a little bit easier, a lot easier, actually, uh, to, to really blend together and get, get rolling last spring. Back in the SEC media days, there was kind of some skepticism in the room about your offense coming into the SEC, and you guys lead in most of the categories. Was there, was there satisfaction with you that, that you thought it could work? If we didn't think it could work, we wouldn't run it. Okay, but I mean, is it, do you feel I mean, no, that's, that's, that has nothing to do with it. You know, people had the right, you know, we're new guys. And uh, we're new guys in the league. Um, so that's, I, I don't see that as derogatory or anything like that. You're, you're always going to be skeptical of anything that that uh, is new or you don't know about. So, you know, who, I don't. I don't see it that way. I do see it as, you know, we, we, we do have something to prove. Uh, I said that from the beginning, you know, at the SEC media days. You know, we're, we're in, the, in the, uh, the best league in the country playing football. And, uh, you know, as, as new guys you, you, to the league, we, we, we do have something to prove. Um, and uh, I think our guys understand that. I think our, our, our uh, as coaches, we understand it, but I think right now our players understand it too, and, and I think that's why there's such an excitement level from our fans, but there's also an excitement level from our players, you know, just because, you know, that's 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 where we are. So, you know, um, every every one of these games is new to these guys. You know, we, we I think last week was a prime example of being excited to play. In, in a way. Um, the newness of this, in a way, is helping us because we're going to different places where, where we've never been, and guys are excited to go there. DZ had an interesting point of Mississippi State kind of being <coughs> in the same boat, I guess, that they're surprising a lot of people. So DZ said in this game, both teams kind of understand what each other are going for. Do you kind of see that as? Guys pushing a little extra, knowing that. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. I'm not surprised by Mississippi State's success. I mean, you could see that coming. He's, they've, they've been building that for the last couple of years. So, you know, I think everybody is, uh, uh, for us, you know, this this is, uh, uh, we're playing a, another SEC opponent. And, uh, you know, I don't know that, uh, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really understand what you're asking. So, well, you just said there was a mutual understanding that both teams that basically is not going to overlook it because, and you, and they won't overlook you guys either, I guess. <laughs> Have you crossed paths with Coach Caney much? 
Uh, yes. Yep, and his dad. And his dad was a high school coach in, in Houston. So, yeah, I know uh, I know Les very well. As a matter of fact, um, uh, he bought my house last time I was here. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that, did you? I guess the, the, uh, the moral of that story is don't buy that house. <laughs> because I, mean, I don't think either one of us left here on our own will. <laughs> if you recall that. How important was it to get a half off? What's that? How important was it to get a half off? I don't know. I, you know, it's, it's a reward. I think uh, this time of year, uh, it can be difficult. Uh, you know, nobody's healthy. Nobody's 100% healthy. Everybody who's playing, particularly in this league, and and we had some guys after that LSU game, which, you know, that that was a, a really taxing game for us, um, physically and emotionally. Um, how we lost the game, and, and, and you know, there's a lot put into that, <clears throat> and. It, uh, you know, we, we had some guys last week who I wasn't sure were going to be able to play in the game up until Thursday or Friday or even right before the game. Um, it missed practice, and, and uh, I think it showed a little bit. Um, uh, so from that standpoint, for us to, to get our starters, particularly, you know, we, we played one series in the third quarter with both starting units. And, uh, you know, they had the defense had a three and out, and then we scored. And then we put the second team offensive line in, uh, the second team defensive line in, and the second team secondary. Kind of mixed those guys in there. Uh, you know, we, we put some more linebackers in there if we had them. So, uh, you know, we, we just were, it, it, from that standpoint, it was good to get our, those guys off the field. But it's also good to get the young guys in there and, and play a substantial amount of plays, you know, and, and really play as many plays as the starters did in, in, a, in a SEC football game on the road, you know, and stress them out a little bit. And, um, so, you know, there are a lot of pluses uh, to a game like that in the middle of the season. You know, at the beginning of the year, yeah, because you're getting young guys ready to play. But the pluses in the middle of the year or towards this time is the ability to get uh, to – to not risk injury and and, and get some uh, uh, experience for you guys. Coach, how big was it to get Trey going, C Mike going, and to have three fresh backs now heading down the stretch? Yeah, we're good. You know, I mean, that, that, it's, that's a great question because that's better than the questions I got early in the year is, you know, why isn't so and so playing? We're playing them all. So, you know, we're going to need them all. I said that from the beginning. We'll, we'll play them all. You know, the, Trey, we didn't play Trey in the LSU game because, you know, the second half, well, basically from the uh, second quarter on, there were a number of different looks from a, uh, when they're in, that, in the odd front, from a, a run game scheme, blocking schematically, uh, where the running lanes were, and from a protection standpoint, uh, he wasn't comfortable and we weren't comfortable with him being able to, to, to deal with that. Uh, and so, you know, we, we've got two other guys who are veteran guys who understood it and did a nice job. You know, uh, and, and I think after that game, you know, he kind of understood it because, he, you know, we, we talked with him on the sideline. We talked, we talked about it during the game. You know, uh, as a young guy, you know, there's more to playing running back than just handing the ball. I know that some some people don't believe that, but you know, that's the truth. You, you've got different looks and different defenses, and and there's different reads. If you run the ball, different certainly different deals that you have to handle with, with protection. So, um, you know that that being said, uh, you know last weekend was great for him to be out there and just say, hey, listen, you're you're playing. And whatever shows up out there defensively, you, you're going to have to handle. So his eyes got a little bit bigger 